Slack attack. Well, yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's walk through some more Dying Light. And coming up next um, is the Shadow of the King quest in which we are going to acquire Rise's gun. But uh, before we do that, um, I have no electronics. And you may be in, in this position too because electronics are quite rare. And all these legendary mods that we picked up, all of them require electronics. See, electronics, 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 electronics. And even some of the purple require electronics, see? And we can't use any of these mods until we get some electronics. Want to get a whole bunch of electronics? Follow me. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the loft. Okay, this is basically the next plan. Okay, go back to the loft. And then we're going to fast travel back to the slums. There's the loft right there, okay? And we can just take the zip wire here. Which is just west of Eshak's place. I believe that's his name. Here's the bar down here. Grab on top of this ambulance. Grab it up there and hopefully you don't fall off. Atta boy. This is a good game. Jump down here. And the university should be right there. Also, you should probably start hunting around for good orange legendary weapon. Electronics are sometimes found in these toolkits here, but uh... That's hard. I'm trying to farm all those toolkits looking for electronics. So what I want to do is just drop in here, just by, perhaps, uh, by way of demonstration, and see what this guy has for sale. You're looking for something sharp, something fast, and something powerful. I already have that, alright? That is this deadly blade, okay? And I'm going to mod this sucker up over 500 damage, all right? That's the plan. Um, let's just put that there and sell some of this other stuff that we won't need anymore. This is going, this is going. Uh, we're going to keep that. The saber's going, and I think even the oriental cleaver is going. Keeping that for now, but that's going to be replaced by Ryze's gun. Here we go. Selling items. You go. Go, 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 go. Sell valuables. Done and done. And you don't have anything remarkable for sale, contrary to the name of this fireman's axe. <laughs> uh, great damage, but the handling is way too too, uh, too low on that. Yeah. Okay, now I doubt Spike has any uh, anything to give us. You have anything to give us, Spike? No, he doesn't. So that's that. Onward down to the loft. Why are we going to the loft, Slack? I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Go up, anybody, but okay. Cross here. The waste of a grapple with the hell. There's love straight ahead here. It's strange that they put that there and then there's nothing in here. Medium chest here. Uh, should I bother lock picking it? Uh, no, let's leave it alone. There is a blueprint here I forgot, but this is completely redundant now. Because it's only um, a blue, I believe. The cut and go. Here we go, this is what we just picked up. Probably passed by that a few times, but we've got all these orange blueprints, all these legendary blueprints, so, you know, that's completely redundant now. These things sometimes have electronics, but not this time. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're going to get a whole bunch, as many as our hearts desire. As many as our hearts desire, rather. Okay, so up we go. To the loft.
First of all, let's get this mission from Noah. Fan zone. If you pass the fan zone, please check what's happening there. Uh, what do you mean? You'll hear it for yourself. Someone's calling for help. There are women and children there. Here we go, new side mission. We can group that together with the Shadow of the King. It's in the same area. To the east of the lot. But not yet. First of all, let's go down to the trader. Need some new gear. See what he's got. Same deal, nothing remarkable. Once again, I would buy this just for the name. <laughs> and that's that. Did we pick up anything? Anything to sell? No, we didn't. So we're good. Now, how many of you knew that there was a fast travel point on this poster right here at the loft? I never knew this. I never knew this. It's, it's like sh completely shrouded in darkness. And the bed's over here. So, like, you know, what reason would you have to come to this corner? I never knew this. So, hey, you can fast travel to the slums just like that. So, let's go there now. Okay, so here we are in the trader's kind of special deal for you. store. And you could use the same poster to fast travel back to Old Town, to the loft or the Emperor's Tower, right? So what do you got for sale? An orange iron hatchet, 281. That's not going to top my deadly blade. So it looks like my deadly blade is a pretty good acquisition. We're going to mod that, okay? Now, um, if you want to control how you respawn when you exit the game, now make sure you that you uh, hook up one of these slum side quests like incense herbs or electronics or you know crayons for the kids, one of those, okay? And then you have that activated, and then you always respawn here at the tower, okay? That's a little trick. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to that same place where we got the bolter tissue before way back near the beginning of the game that right there i'm going to use the safe house i'm going to use the safe house as a launching off point to farm bolter tissue and electronics which is right in this is it this building or this i think it's this building here yeah one of these two buildings yeah um no i believe it's this one right here yep that one right there yeah right there and I'll show you all about, the, all about that in a minute. For now, do we have speed boosters? Yes, we do. Gob dumps and Nestle's quick, and away we go. First stop is the safe zone. And yep. <laughs> want a spanking. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we're at the safe zone, alright? Boy, yeah. Right in front of the, the bolter feeding ground. Same deal now, let's clear the street. Yeah, what am I using? I don't want to be using this actually. I'm going to be using it up until they mod it. So let's use the military machete. We're going to line up here for next snapping. <laughs> Over here, buddy. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what do you want some? Let's electrify your shit. <laughs> yeah, dance. Very good. Now, those guys should have turned into loot packages.
Okay, so we're gonna do kind of like a day night farming thing, okay? Now, normally I don't like farming. Why? Because it involves quitting the game, reloading the game, and exploiting the fact that stuff respawns every time you reload the game. So I don't really like having to do that. I don't like the idea that, you know, like you're exploiting the fact that, you know, you quit and reload the game. Um, but this kind of farming does not involve reloading the game. All you have to do is wait overnight. So I don't really consider it farming. I don't really consider it, or rather, an exploit. Alright, it's not really an exploit. It's part of the game. You just simply play the game. You don't have to quit and reload the game. Okay, so. Here we are. That's the building. Alright. Now, if you don't have a grappling hook, I believe you can just climb up here. Climb. There we go. Come up to the top. Kick your way in here. And there's tons of parts, alright? All over. All over. You can like search all these and get, you know, your heart's desire of parts. I'm not gonna bother with that. This is what I'm interested in here. This right here, electronics. All right, it's always there. I tested it from a number of backed up saves, and it's always there. All right, so grab that. Something else that is always here too is this enforcer upgrade. All right, always. I've tested it this from a number of backed up saves. It's always there. So, so what, Slack? Well, so well, you know what you can do. First of all, let's make it easy to get back in here again. Alright, so now we can get back in easy without having to climb. What we could do is just simply wait overnight, come back here and get those electronics and the upgrades again. And then wait overnight, come back here and get the electronics and the upgrades again. And do that. Rinse and repeat as many times as you like. Conveniently enough, is that a... It is. Okay, I don't want you roaming around with streets while we're farming, okay? Come here. Yeah, no mercy. Yeah, conveniently enough, we have like a, a bolter feeding ground here as well. So we can also farm <laughs> some bolter tissue. So this will give us all the necessary parts, or the necessary rare parts, to mod pretty much anything we like. Okay, we can mod uh, any of the legendary mods here, including. Bolter Poison, which doesn't give you as big a damage boost as, say, Toxic Reaver, All-in-One, Angel Sword, God Hammer, or a Strobe Knight, but, you know, if you don't have any electronics or you want to save your electronics for something else... Oops, that was Mr. Bone Fingers. Yeah, you can grab some Bolter Poison. Okay, so that's that. Let's do it. Wait until night. Craft yourself some Throwing Stars. Slap those in the inventory. Turn on the flashlight. You could use a night vision booster, but let's just use a flashlight. Go over here. Hook up the throwing stars. Actually, these should be switched. Because I'm used to having throwing stars in slot number four. There we go. Okay, sneaky sneaky over here. Don't get go too fast or too noisy because you alarm the bolter. Here's the bolter there. Get the throwing star at him. Go over. Loot him for some bolter tissue. And to drink some speed booster. Because here comes the volatiles. Back to the safe house. Wait until morning. And this will respawn the electronic parts. And the enforcer upgrade. So let's go get him again. In here. Jump on top of the table. We'll get you get with you in a minute. There are the electronic parts. They respawn, and there's the enforcer. It has also respawned. Hey, how about that? What does the enforcer do? It gives you a damage boost. 
Huh? Huh? Yeah. So just pile up a whole bunch of those. Slap them on a weapon, and you got a big damage boost on your weapon. Okay, where are you? Come here. I know it's you're roaming around at night. Okay, we can't be bothered waiting. So, rinse and repeat. Get alarmed, <laughs> and I just uh, drank some speed booster by mistake. Get some more bolter tissue. Back to the safe zone. And rinse and repeat. All right, so you can do that as many times as your heart desires. So, um. I'm going to do it 10 times, all right? So see on the flip side. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a whole bunch. See on the flip side. I'll just skip ahead. Okay, so there we go. That took about 12 minutes, okay? I just did about 12 minutes of farming. And this is what I managed to get. I went an extra couple of shots for the enforcer and the electronics. And I got, so I got 12 enforcers. That makes sense because you use three enforcers per um, weapon to upgrade it, right? So that, that allows the mod four weapons with uh, enforcers right all the way across the board and I got 10 bolter tissue this is way more than any you probably want to use any of them and I got 12 electronics right so that's that that's how to farm bolter tissue electronics and upgrades so that'll make up for all the recording handicap I've been suffering as of late that you've all seen me endure Throughout this game, throughout this walkthrough, where the game just refuses to spawn upgrades for me. Crane, Jafar here. About the dynamite you brought. We've got an idea how to improve it. Drop by as soon as you can. And that ain't okay. gonna happen. So we're gonna go back. Uh, I don't know, we might do that. <laughs> just looking at the name of the blueprint. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go back to Old Town and continue with the Shadow of the There's King quest. I'm going to leave off here. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old Slackster a thumbs up. Alright, that's it. Slack is out.